How fortunate is Chase Headley and mm. being a, a mid 90s to high 90s fastball directly in the jaw? And it seems as though, with the exception of a little scratch and some stitches, he pretty much walked away unscathed. He really did. It's it's amazing that he doesn't have any damage to his teeth. Um, he doesn't have a hairline fracture in his jaw. Um, not really a concussion. It, it, it's truly amazing that he was able to to get through that with just that little bit. And I know you liked that he showed up in Baltimore. I loved it. I mean, it just shows the character. I mean, you think about, you're in the hospital a good portion of the night Thursday evening having all this test. You have to go back to see the neurologist on Friday. And what does he do? He goes right from the doctor, jumps on a train and comes down and, uh, you know, starts to go to work and, uh, you know, exercises a little bit on, on Friday and Saturday. And um, lo and behold, he's a player again. Uh, has anything like that ever happened to you? I got hit in the face um, by Woody Williams. I was squared around to bunt, and it was coming right at my head, and I turned, and it hit my nose right here and broke it on both sides. When you get hit like that, aside from the physical things that happen mentally, to get back in that yeah. batter's box, how long does it take you, or, or do some guys have trouble coming back and staying in there? Some guys have trouble. I wanted to get back out there as soon as I could because you don't want to think about it. You don't want to think about, okay, is it going to happen again? I, I want to get back out there. So for me, it was it was really important. I think it happened on a Friday or Saturday, and I got back in there, I, th I think, on a Tuesday. Um, and. Uh, that's what most players want to do. You want to get right back out there. Getting back to Prada for a quick second, he's a guy that when he came here, you talked about his versatility. He'll be here for a couple more years under contract. But did you ever think that he had that amount of intensity when he came here? Because he seems like a guy that goes 150% yeah. all the time. I, I, I was not aware of that. I was aware that he was a very good player. Until you get to be around a guy, you really don't understand their personality. But this is a guy that grinds it out and wants to be out there every day. You look at the doubleheader on Friday, obviously tough coming from the night game, getting here uh, early in the morning and having to play two games. You look at that first game, heartbreaker. heartbreaker. How, do you, how do you turn the page fast and try to play the second one? Well, I mean, you just get used to it. And you, and you understand, you have to. You don't have a choice. I mean, you, no one's going to feel sorry for you, so we can't feel sorry for ourselves. And you know, we didn't we didn't do much um, in in the nightcap of the game, but you bounce back and win a, a tough game on Saturday, three to two, where we only get four hits, and you get contributions from Chris Young and, and Richardson, some big contributions, and it ends up being a double steal in a sense that wins the game for us. It gives us that third run, but our guys bounce back. And Greeny, you know, he grinded it out. They fouled a lot of pitches off. They got his pitch count up, but he worked hard, and the bullpen did a good job. How much do you like when guys run like that on the base pass? Oh, I love it. When, when you have speed, there are so many more things you can do, and it's so much easier to score runs in a sense because, you know, it's not only them being able to steal bases. It's being able to go from first to third or first to home and, and or scoring from second on, on, on balls that are hit hard. It means a lot. If you start the series the way you started the series but are able to get the final two in Sunday night, this Sunday night game, how much of a different feel is it for the team? It's a much different feel, um, you know, because we know Baltimore's a very good team, and they're explosive, and, and they can hit the ball at the ballpark. They pitch very well, and um, it would be big. You mentioned the pitching. Are you a little surprised how well their pitching staff has done? No, I'm not. They have good stuff. I, I think the one thing that people think about when they think about Baltimore is they don't have that clear-cut ace. They don't have the, the Felix Hernandez or, or the John Lester or the Clayton Kershaw that people always talk about. But you look at their starters, and they're very good, and they have a very good bullpen and a deep bullpen, and they have lefties that they can match up against people that are hard to hit.